a bit wet, wasn't it? After a very, very wet water crossing, we're on Isla de Holbox. The island paradise. There's no cars. There's cars. Why are you saying there's no cars? There's because cars. Because only uh, several cars are allowed for reasons, but you're not allowed to drive a car properly. Oh, yeah. So, do you want to get a taxi? It's Lady Hole Bosch. Or Box. Whole Box. We don't know. We don't know what it's called. But we're here and uh, it's pretty cool. We're staying in tents. <laughs> Are you excited about that? No. <laughs> kind of. No. Yes, and, the, you know. and the woman that just checked us in to our tent said, Mucho Mosquito. <laughs> and I was like, Yay. <laughs> What's the plan for Isla de Hole Box? So basically what you do, it's what they call Paradise Island and you just chill on the beach the whole time. That's it, you drink cocktails, you eat, you walk around, you enjoy the sun. I can do that. Yeah, I think so, I can do that too. Do you have any idea of like the layout of the island or anything? Um, well, we're on the one side of the centre. So the centre is what we're like just walking into now. And that's basically on the beach. arrived at Mosquito Point. Is it going to be paradise? I hope it is. It's very pretty, but it's not Mosquito Point. <laughs> oh well. So you see everyone walking along the sandbank out there. And then in the distance, They're that's awesome. Mosquito Point. Oh well. Oh well. If you're in the centre of Holbox, like in the town, and you say to a taxi, can you take us to Punta Mosquito? They will say, si. Then they'll take you to another place which is about a four or five kilometer walk then along a sandbank to Punta Mosquito. Probably the best bet is to get one of the boat tours there um, in the first place. I think it's the only option actually. If you want to go to Punta Mosquito, take a boat. <laughs> the whole island is a beach. It's an island <laughs> and it's beautiful. Maybe we should have come here instead of Tulum. Yeah, definitely. If you're just planning on coming here for one day, traveling from Tulum or Cancun or somewhere like that, our advice 
is go and get a day tour once again it's us trekking around in the midday heat <laughs> i guess all of them are a day tour because they have one guy sitting up in the front and then they're going to ask around who wants to drive a golf cart and just the other people get to drive it and they have one tour guide and look at this i mean i was just thinking we can't have all of these videos of just like me moaning <laughs> so let's do a little montage We're staying in a tent. Jackie says it's character building. We've still got the same beach as everyone else. And we've actually just grabbed a couple of sunbeds at a beachside resort because we figured, well, if they don't want us to be there, they'll tell us to move. And somebody came along and all he said was, do we want any drinks? We said no because we thought he might ask for our room number. I think we have a heat stroke by now. Hola. <laughs> That's Hola. all he's been saying for five minutes now. Hola. Hola. Donde esta? El the island is absolutely stunning. The only thing and that's our mistake is camping in a tent with over 30 degrees, even at night. I think that wrecked us a little bit. Welcome oh, to the cooling car. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I know. Somebody's so, pulled the door off the banyo. Oh. Uh, well, next. Chichen Itza. So, whole Bosch. Two days. Box. Box. Bosch. What do we think? I like it. I like it too. What do you think about staying in a tent? I don't like it. <laughs> Hola, perrito. <laughs> 